All right, hey, welcome back to another review. It's uh, you know who it is. It's fucking. It's the same guy on YouTube reviewing movies all the time. You know who the fuck it is. So I decided to go to the movie theater again. I was pretty fucking tired, but I still want to go see it. It's uh, the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. It's a uh, based on true events, true story from uh, World War Two. About these, uh, I guess these, uh, fucking, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's the word for it? I think it's like, uh, not assassins. There's another word for it. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. But, uh, it's played by the, the, the actors from, uh, one guy. He played Superman. His name was Henry Cavill. You know, the thing is, I never watched any of his shit. That's the thing. I never watched any of his shit. I know he played The Witcher, like, for a couple of seasons. But I never watched the show. And then he played. Yeah, he plays Superman in those shitty Superman movies, in the uh, shitty Justice League films, that directed by that shitty uh, director that people would like to uh, suck his fucking dick hard. I don't know why. Zack Stacker. I don't get why people like that guy so much. I still, I still get it to this day. He was in there. He did a pretty good job. He plays like the captain of the crew. Uh, the guy Reacher. He was in there. He was like the second guy in command. He kicked a lot of ass. He's, he's the guy with a bow and arrow. He wore like glasses and shit. He had the, uh, the British accent. Just like Henry Cavill's character had a British accent. And he kicked a lot of fucking ass. A lot of shooting going on. A lot of blo explosions and everything. Yeah, it's a pretty fun fucking movie. It's better than that piece of shit Monkey Man movie. That shit was fucking garbage. I can't believe I watched that bullshit. Monkey Man. Like, the title of that movie, man, I thought it would be, like, be one of the most awesome movie of the year. Like, The Beekeeper. Not even close. Not even close to The Beekeeper. This movie is even better than a fucking, uh, The Monkey Man. Way, way fucking better. It's like uh, a masterpiece compared to The Monkey Man film. <sighs> the Monkey Man is just like a ripoff of John Wick, and it was fucking garbage. This right here felt like it was original. It felt original... It was fun. It was exciting. Great characters, you know. Yeah, uh, this is based in like World War II, uh, Winston Churchill, and you know Hitler, and all these other Nazi bastards and shit. And these guys were like hired to do a job, and they talked to Henry Cavill in this room, with also uh, Aquaman's girlfriend in real life. She plays like one of the characters here. And I don't mind her character. I wish she did a little more because there's this one scene she starts shooting like fruits and shit, and she looked pretty hot with a gun. And I wish she did more. I wish she did more of a gun. But I mean, she did. But she she like killed like one fucking guy, like a little teeny penis gun or something. She was in shooting right in the fucking forehead and killed him. This uh, Nazi leader or something. I wish she did. I wish she did a little more. Uh, Aquaman's girlfriend. Her real name. Her real name is Isa Gonzalez. I just call her. Aquaman's girlfriend, but she is. I think she's still with him, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think she's still with him. Because the last time I remember Aquaman left that uh, other bitch, and now he's with her now. But I, I'm not 100% sure that he's still with Isa Gonzalez. It's, I'm just guessing. So this is another great uh, Guy Ritchie film, because last year he did another film with Jason Statham, which a lot of people didn't like, but I, I really enjoyed that film, too. But for some reason, I think I like this more than uh, the fucking uh, the Jason Statham movie he did last year. This is a lot, a lot better. Because I had a lot of fun with this. Henry Cavill, Alan Richardson, Isaac Gonzalez. It's a pretty fucking fun movie. Uh, it starts off where, uh, I guess, uh, Henry Cavill and his crew were on the fucking boat. And these fucking goofy uh, sailors came on the boat pointing guns at him and shit. And looked through their stuff on the boat. And I was, like, thinking of... Every time I see these Sailor Man, I think of fucking uh, Popeye the Sailor Man. And I'll be thinking, like... It'd be great if they actually make a good live-action Popeye movie. I mean, he's kicking a lot of ass and shooting guns and shit. And he's spinning, he's, like, really whooping fucking ass. Like, they should really make, a, like, a really great action movie with explosions and shit. And machine guns is like this movie. But it's like Popeye. And he's kicking a lot of fucking ass. Make that shit, like, rated R and shit. It'd be fucking awesome. Popeye rated R, fucking eating the spinach and shooting machine guns and everything. That'd be fucking awesome. 
plays is uh, music and like a, a rock version. <laughs> Man, that'd be fucking crazy. But anyways, uh, fucking Henry Cavill and Reacher Al Richson was like goofing and laughing while they got kind of guns pointing at them by just these goofy ass sailors. Then all of a sudden, one, one of their crew boys pops out of the classes and starts shooting these motherfuckers. Then they started shooting them. Fucking Reacher started stabbing people, stabbing, stabbing the sailors, and they got all bloody all over them. And for some reason, I thought this movie was, like, was PG-13. Until I got home, I was like, oh, it's rated R? I was like looking up, I was like, oh, it's rated R. I didn't, it didn't feel like it was rated R. I feel like it was PG-13, the way I was watching this movie. Well, whatever, I don't give a fuck. And like there's only like like a couple f bombs in this movie, so I guess what that's why it's rated R. I mean, it's not really that much blood in this movie because most of the time when they're shooting people, they just shoot them and there's no blood. They just shoot them and they go down. That's basically about it. So yeah, sometimes there's blood when uh, Al Richson, uh, aka Reacher, is stabbing people and shit. That's when you start seeing blood, but not like gory blood or anything like that. So I don't. Get- the only reason why it's radar, like I said, here is like a couple f bombs in here, so it makes a lot of sense. Because when you say like uh, too many f bombs, they make it rated R. That's how it is. I mean, it's, it'd be worse if this would came out in the '80s, and they'll make it like rated X or some shit. Even though there's just like no like porn going on or anything like that. I mean, there's Isaac Gonzalez, uh, Aquaman's girlfriend. I mean, it'd, it'd be nice seeing her strip naked. She's pretty fucking hot. Well, speaking of her character, uh. Isaac Gonzalez and this black guy. I don't, I don't know who the fuck this black guy is. I've never seen him in my life. He has like this weird name. Babs Olo San Monkun Ning. <sighs> He's from Nigeria. Okay, I, I, can't, I can't pronounce that shit. So this guy from Nigeria, who, who was also in those shitty Dune remake movies... He wasn't a bad actor. I mean, I, I don't mind him, but I just, I just the first time I ever heard about this fucking guy. He plays this agent with Isaac Gonzalez's character, and I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? Who's this homeless black dude? Like, I never get seen him before. He's from Nigeria. I mean, it makes sense because this is World War II, so it makes a lot of sense why they, they got him to play this type of character. And, uh, yeah, him and her are agents, and there's a story about them, what they're doing. They're trying to undercover what's going on with the, with the Nazis. Uh, they get around this, this train this one time, disguise as other people. They get through what the Nazis are up to. They switch briefcases, and uh, they told uh, the, uh, the British people uh, what they're planning to do with all these weapons and grenade launchers and all this other shit. And they're going all over to other places and shit. I mean, I don't mind her story, but I care more about Henry Cavill and his crew fucking up everything, shooting people and whatnot. I mean, there's like a couple scenes I might I, I don't mind with Isaac Gonzalez and the Nigerian dude. Is where like, that one part where uh, she proves the uh, the other black guy wrong. Well, she, when she was like shooting these machine guns at these uh, fruits and everything, and also she's about to pull like a, a grenade. Uh, she like pulled a grenade, and they're like, "No, no, 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 don't do that!" And I started laughing at that part. Like that shit was fucking hilarious. She was like, "Say prove, I prove a point. She can shoot a gun." So that's why I was like, "Awesome!" And she looks, she looked like fucking hot. She looked fucking hot as hell with shooting guns and everything like that. I wish she did more of that in the, in the movie, and and let her dress like that throughout the whole movie. She had like this. Uh, I think I like this uh, blue uh, uniform on or something like that. Blue sexy uniform. Like, I don't know why she wore that throughout the whole movie. And she, like, shooting all the bad guys up and shit with, with that outfit. She, like, she only did, like, a couple of times she killed people. No, I don't think so. Maybe, like, once or twice. But she did kill, like, one of the, the uh, captains of the Nazis, I think. She was, like, undercover as, you know, hating Jews and whatnot. And she meets this Nazi captain guy. And she has, like, a talk with him and talk about this and that. And she starts, like, a, like a, a party with him. And they dress up as these characters. He dresses up as, like, Julius Caesar and his other Nazi boys dress up like, like uh, Frankenstein and some other, uh, like, a cowboy or something. Some, some uh, goofy shit. And had this party and whatnot. But well, we're not gonna get into that right now. We're gonna go back to the uh, Henry Calvin's crew, which I like their parts a lot better. But I still feel like Isaac Gonzalez's character should have been utilized a lot more with the uh, 
her shooting guns and whatnot. She, she should have, like... I mean, I can understand, because this story is based on a true story, so I can understand why she didn't do that much. It makes a lot of sense. But anyway, let's go back to the Henry, Henry Cavill story. So Henry Cavill's character and his crew, uh, they now they gotta go save their buddy, who is like the mastermind. He, he's a master planner. So they gotta go to this uh, facility where the, 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 he was captured at, and he had this fun-ass fun shootout going on. Reacher uh, takes all these guys out with a bow and arrow and shit. I thought that was pretty fun. He, like he, he does really good with the archer shit. He does like really good with those scenes. He's kicking a lot of ass, and uh, Henry Cavill and his boys go around shooting people with silencers. I don't know, has like a machine gun, takes them out, well, no problems. And they rescue their buddy, and they make jokes about uh, you got these, uh, you got a car battery on your nipples or something like that. And that was pretty funny. Yeah, this movie has a lot of comedy too. It has like a lot of funny comedy here too. A lot of funny comedy, great action, you know, great story by the man named Guy Ritchie. Yeah, Guy Ritchie is mostly known of making state of movies, so this is like outside of state of and uh he does great he, he's not doing state of movies, he does a great job. I still don't understand why that last state of movie gets a lot of shit for. I actually like that last state of movie. I don't like that movie gets a lot of shit. I thought I thought that was fun and funny. Well anyways, yeah, they rescued their buddy and they gotta figure out a new plan and Isaac Gonzalez and uh, the Nigerian guy they're at this uh, later on they're at this party or something like that and the Nigerian guy gets uh, a big ass crew for uh, Henry Cavill to work with him and who is this, this black guy with glasses or something like that this older f black guy I forgot what his name was I mean, you gotta look it up right now I forgot what his name was he was pretty cool too I think what was oh, was it was it Halu? Kalu? Was it Kalu? I don't know. I think it was Kalu, I think. He was this older black guy. He had this, his, his Nigerian crew. And then now they got to work with with uh, Henry Cavill's crew. And they work together. And, uh, they got these Nazi bastards and everything like that. So, like... I think Isaac Gonzalez at the party. She dressed like an Egyptian girl, I think. Well, the, the bad guy dressed like Julius Caesar. And his boys were dressed like Cowboy and Frankenstein. And they're at this party, and she was singing, and she tells the black guys to tell the uh, Harry Calvin's crew to change the plans. That they're gonna, they got, you guys got to steal the the boat or steal the ship. You can't uh, do with that anymore. But still, shut the lights out because uh, the black guy did set up a uh, a time bomb on the uh, on the power surge, so you shut all the power off, and everything like that. And there's just one scene when you set out the power, so you set up the uh, the time bomb on the uh, the power surge. I thought he was gonna get killed, but he doesn't because there's this, because he ran out out of bullets out of his gun, and he was like trying to get this gun to work. He was like stuck or something like that, so he ends up pulling out a knife slowly and stabbing in the Nazi guy, which I thought, oh, I thought he was gonna get fucking murdered in this part. Well, I guess not. He doesn't get murdered. He lives throughout the whole fucking movie, so surprised me. Anyways, let's go back. Uh, yeah, so he, t the Nigeria guy, tells him to don't do it, and I think, uh, I think, I think one of the guys got mad at uh, Winston Churchill. Yeah, well, Winston Churchill's in this movie too. He, this guy does a great job playing Winston Churchill. And I think one of those guys like, all right, you, you, Winston Churchill, the guy, to stop this whole shit, or we're, we're gonna like kick him out of office, or whatever the hell that they were saying. And which church was like, I, I don't give a fuck. Let, let, let them do what they want to do. I don't care. Let, you want to kick me out? I don't give a fuck. So they decided to still do it. They're going to like steal the ship now. And they had this big shootout on the on the boat. It's like, it's like This is like the best part of the whole movie. Where like the the last uh, fight, last war scene is like the best part of the whole movie. I mean, the other action scenes are, scenes are good too. But this is like the best part. Especially this part where Reacher's like kicking a lot of ass, shooting bows and arrows, and he grabs like a fire axe and starts stabbing people with this shit, slicing people. Like, that shit was awesome. Like, yeah, like everybody gets fucked up in this, this whole scene. Fucking uh, modern day World War II pirates fucking everybody up. And uh, they, like I said, Isaac Gonzalez, uh, she ended up saying the wrong word, and it turns out like. The uh, Nazi guy gets pissed off. It turns out that she's a she's a Jew, and he gets mad about it. He goes, "All right, you know, let's bring her in that back room and, and like cuff her and shit, and trap her." 
which I thought she got to be cuffed throughout like the whole scene in that movie in, the, in that back room, but turns out she does get cuffed throughout the whole movie. She ends up getting out of there with the, the Nazi uh, burger ass out of that room. And she ends up shooting the guy, the uh, Captain Nazi guy in the head, who dressed like Julius Caesar, kills his ass. With that little, with that little tiny penis gun, she shoots him in the head with it. And they was like ran right out of time, and like the way for the uh, Aquaman's girlfriend to uh, get off that island and on the boat and back to the back to the ship they stole with the, with the black guy. They're like taking too long, and the. Uh, the other black guy who who's run his gang, he was like, "We gotta go, man. We, we can't be here for too long. We're gonna get fucking murdered. We gotta get out of here." And like, and Henry Cavill was like, "Hold on a second. It turns out, turns out it was them. It was Isaac Gonzalez and the uh, and the Nigerian dude. So they get on the boat and they get out of there, and they all get arrested by these uh, the uh, the British sailors or whatever the hell you want to call them. They all get arrested by them, and they they, they let them do it. And at the end, uh, Winston Churchill shows up to the jail." And talks to all of them, gives them free food, and tells them that all those, all, all of you guys are gonna work for me for now on. And then, like, the movie ends, and now they show, they show these credits of the real life uh, generals and soldiers who were the, uh, the those pirate guys or some shit like that. And yeah, that was the end of the movie. I thought it was pretty good, man. I really liked this fucking movie. I thought it was a solid film. It was original, and it was no boring bullshit going on. Like throughout the whole film, it was very interesting. And I, I can't see someone like give this movie shit. I mean, I mean, it's not perfect or anything, but it is, it is very enjoyable. I don't know why anyone would get this shit. It's better than fucking Monkey Man. Oh God, Monkey Man! I can't believe I wasted my money on that shit. I think I'm going to see this movie again. I thought that I really had fun with this one. Alright, let's go on this trivia here. I knew this in a long time. Um, based on the 2014 book, Churchill's Secret Warriors, the explosive true story of the Special Forces Desperados of World War II by Damian Lewis. Oh, so it's based off a book. Ian Fleming int introduces himself. Fleming. Ian Fleming. This is the nod to the fictional hero James Bond, who in many of his films he appears and introduces as Bond. James Bond. I really like those James Bond movies. Wait, Ian Fleming was in there? I didn't know Ian Fleming was in there. Huh. Was he really in there? I gotta look at that real quick. Harry Cavill plays a story for your inspire Ian Fleming's James Bond. Cavill has long been a fan of favorite to play Bond on screen. I don't know. He he ruled like he would fit James Bond. It also depends how old he is, though. I mean, people will say otherwise about the whole Roger Moore thing because Roger Moore didn't start being James Bond until he was 45. So, Al, Rich, Al Richardson's character kills numerous Nazis with a knife. He is best known for playing Jack Reacher on television, which his character hates knives. Jack Reacher. Yeah, that's true, because I did watch the first season, and I remember he, he never uses knives or anything like that. So now I watched the second season, though. You know, it's nothing like the first season, but I saw her it was pretty good, and then we renewed for a third season. The actual Gus Marsh Phillips was killed in action. Ace must following the events of this movie. Yeah, that's the character that Harry Henry Cavill played. Huh, that sucked. He killed. He got killed eight months after that, after that fucking movie? Well, I mean, I mean, I mean in the... Uh, the World War II era thing. That's what I'm talking about. Ian Fleming was in this movie? Oh, Freddie Fox was Ian Fleming. Yeah, Ian Fleming, he would have created those James Bond books. I guess a after the war, he, he created those books. Well, shit, I guess I didn't pay attention to that part. Yeah, he, he I remember he was in the war. I read, be I read before. He was in the war. But I didn't know he was like in this story. I never knew that. Very interesting. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, like the only thing I didn't like with this movie is that they didn't really utilize Isa, Isa Gonzalez's character, which I can understand because this is, because this is based off a uh, true story. And I hope after this movie she gets like another action role. And the character, I hope they utilize the character a lot more with her using like machine guns and everything like that because she does look pretty hot with a gun. I'm not going to lie about that. Although, I do feel like some of these action scenes, I feel like for these mercenaries, I think it's too easy. 
They make these uh, Nazi guys too easy for them. I feel like the Nazis should be a lot more... I'm not saying, like, very hard to defeat, but at least make it, like, challenging for the mercenaries, Henry Cavill and the crew. I feel like they should make it a little more... A little more tougher for them to, to face these guys, at least. They made it, it's made it, like, a little too easy for them, I feel like. I feel like these Nazis should have, like, a little more... Should have gave them, like, a little more of a challenge. 